Hello, Bees Bladers. Welcome back and welcome newcomers to the channel. I have a very promising budget knife and a new company to the channel. This, and I'm calling it X-Took because there's no pronunciation guide. The X-Took XT01A. Would you look at it? Just look at it in all its fragness. And this is some cool, I mean, very good frag pattern on that G10. And you can see that the frag has frag on top of it, or it's it's texture on texture. It feels super nice. And here's, the, here's a look at this side. Yeah, that is some sweet looking stuff. And check this out. We have a captive pivot, and this is a knife that's under 30 bucks. I'll tell you more about that here in just a minute. And look, we have a deep carry pocket clip. It is a strong part pocket clip. It has some good spring to it, and it's reversible. So you have a T8 for your body screw, and then a T6 here where, check that out. You slide it down into here, and they even have a spacer for when you switch it to the other side. Now, that is pretty cool. And then, look at this. You have a place to put a lanyard. Is that what that is up in here? Let me double check this. Heck yeah, for all you lanyard dubbers, look at that. They, they even went, okay, this, I'm impressed already, and we haven't even checked out the blade. They don't have a hole going through the scales. They have a spot back here for you to put it back through. And then they also have a stainless steel little backspacer that's part of your lanyard hole. That is very nice. Very, very nice. This has two deployment methods. One is up here. And uh, yeah, okay. We have some good jimping. Now I can already tell you, you know what I'm going to say. The jimping needs to come all the way, all the way around. Don't skimp on the jimp. <laughs> and then up here. Oh, yeah, oh, okay. So we have some good jimping. You ready to see this blade? Pow! Right in the kisser. Oh, mama. Look at that for some sleekness. And definitely stick around towards the end of the video. I'm going to give you a 15% off discount code. And look, in the package, it comes with a T8 and a T6, uh, what you call it, a little tool. And it has a full-length microfiber cloth, a big one. That's very nice. Very, very nice. Okay, who is this company? Where'd they come from? And while we have this on the table, I'll go ahead and tell you. From tip to tip, it's 7.55 inches. The clothes length is 4.25 inches. Your blade length? 3.23 inches. Your blade stock thickness is 127 thousandths of an inch. It's 18 thousandths of an inch behind the edge, or 1.45 millimeters. And guess what the weight is? It's that perfect everyday carry EDC weight. It's 3.08 ounces. It's three ounces. So it is lightweight, it's slender, and it has great texture. Oh my goodness. And let me see how it goes in and out of the pocket. So, oh yeah, I have jeans on right now and they it is sliding in and out, no problemo. So look at that, no screws, nothing showing and it is centered and what is our lockup? Are we locked up? The lockup's right in the middle and left and right, I'm getting a one out of a 10. I am getting a slight bit of movement so it might need tightened up. Up and down, no movement whatsoever and check out, look at this. It's an elongated poon and it, it is a satin blade and you can see it's very fingerprinty. But it is nice, nice looking satin, nice and clean. And I do like, I do like this. That that swedge going all along the top, and then just a slight flat disappearing all the way out to about three quarters length of the blade. That is very nice. And then sharpening choil, there is no sharpening choil. The plunge grind just kind of disappears right into the heel of the blade. Now hang tight, we're gonna check out the action and the ergonomics here in just a second. First, I wanna give you a good idea of the knife size. How about this? We'll put it up against the QSP Penguin. Oh, and yeah, we're gonna check the edge and cut something here in just a second too. So hang tight. This is the Rake P801 and then the Penguin. And then I'm gonna put a couple more up here. And you can always pause your screen if you wanna get a really good look. Here's the best Techman Dundee and then up top, we're going to put the CJRB, nope, it's not the Feldspar, <laughs> this is the CJRB Pyrites, the button lock, and here's a couple more, I'm getting some more slender ones out here for comparison, here's the Civivi Savant, and one of my favorites, one of the first knives in my modern knife collection, the Kaiser Cormorant, there you go, alright, how about two more, first is one of my favorites, oh yeah, you know what that is, that's the Bellamy from Vostid, and then one more, we have the Savivi Neches, which the Neches is really close, just a tad shorter. So let's see if it'll cut a piece of paper, see what kind of edge we got from the factory, are you ready? Let's see what happens. Okay, not bad, okay, it's clean, ooh, very nice. Would you hear it? Just hear it. That's Look at that. I could just shave off the edges until it grabbed. Yeah, it has a good factory edge. I am 
not disappointed whatsoever. And I'm doing a little more cutting because it's a new company and I'm kind of checking out and seeing what it does. All right, not too bad. Now, a factory edge doesn't mean everything. It's just a rough generalization. I guess back in the day or not too in the far distant past, people were getting uh, edges that wouldn't even cut a piece of paper. So that's one of the reasons I do it. And you can kind of get a good idea of how well they did on that. Now, for your deployment and size, for reference, my hand's four inches from here to here, three and a half from here to here, and from the bottom of my palm to the tip of my middle finger is seven and a quarter. Now, first, let's check out deployment. Did you see that? Look at this. Oh, yeah. That is, nothing's been done to this knife. It just got out of the box, and it is shutting that smoothly. I would guess this might actually have ceramic bearings because it, I'm feeling no friction. It's nice and quiet. Here's your acoustics. Very nice acoustic. So your flipper tab, it is grabbing my, my fingers pretty well. I do wish that the jipping went all the way around. That way I wouldn't have any chance of a slide off. Now, push button. Push button, that's not going to work. Because if you push straight down from the top, then the front flipper comes around and hits your finger. So this one is going to be a light switcher. Definitely a light switcher or a flicker bicker. <laughs> Don't bicker, flicker. So that works very well. Now this front flick, can we do it the index flick? Let's see. Yes, the index works if as long as your middle finger is far enough away from the flipper tab. So if you hold it down a little farther, the index flick works very, very easily. Oh yeah, it comes snapping out. That is nice. And then the traditional thumb flick, that is easy. And just a quick note, I had a couple people ask when you have a front flipper like this, just imagine you're rolling your thumb around the top. Don't try to flick this like you flick this. This is, if you just imagine you're doing a roll, then it's a lot easier to open a front flipper and you might actually enjoy them. So the action on this is superb. The, oh yeah, that is, that's good. The, okay. Th this is a yeah, for 20, I think after the discount, they're, they're going to be like 27 something, like 27 bucks. This is an absolute win. Uh, it's D2 steel. That's not a problem. I have no issues with that. So I don't have any hot spots in the hammer grip, giving it the B squeeze. No issues with that. And then in the traditional, look at this. Yeah, this ramp, the little bit of poon going on. Anybody like that poon on your knives? My thumb just fits right into it. So that, in the traditional sense, is very good. I can feel this clip, but the way it falls, it is not bothering me at all. And then the, the bill does not stick out up here, so that's good. And then, oh yeah, you can hold it back here, do a little bit of shwink, shwink, a little bitty swingy swing, a little opening packages, you know, open up tactical Twinkie box opener. Now, here's something to note about your pass-through. There is no pass-through in the scales, but you do have enough room where it is moderately comfortable as far as your access to unlock the knife. I'm having to use the side of my thumb because it, there's not a lot of access and there is no jimping on this, on this lock bar either. So that would be something if there was an improvement, maybe just a little cutout right along here, just, to, just a little more room for your thumb. But I'm not having to dig to the point where it's painful like some knives that I've encountered. That is really easy. So, wow. It's very smooth. The jimping is good. Um, the only thing that would make it better maybe is two more jimps. <laughs> you know, I had to say it. You, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a jimping, uh, I, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. But the jimping does work very well. They did a good job. It, it's grabby. I like this knife. I really like it. For the price, yes, I, I'm impressed. I'm totally impressed. I want to see more from this company. This is this is a good one, especially for the price. So I hope you all enjoy this video. I will put the 15% discount code up on your screen. That is obviously in effect for right now at the time of this video's posting. Who knows how long that'll last, but I will have links in the description of this video and in the comments. I will make a comment and you can look at my comment and just click right on it and go right to it because it might not be easy to look up and you can go check it out for yourself. Go check out this video. I think you're really gonna enjoy that. And if that's not up your alley, you can go check out this one. But until I see you again in the chats or the live streams or at our hive stream every Friday night. Remember, live life in the present, keep a band-aid handy, and don't cut yourself.